Ashley, the starter, ready to push the button. Final leg of the IJC. Gates are back. They're underway. Wind and grass. What a legend. Not the quickest away. Flying bonus and Grateful Heart nicely away. As two was Harmony and Bless running up to third on the outside. Cue the music. Storm warning to trap deep like he was last time as they corner into the back. Beauty Spark, Winston's Lad, Meridian Genius. Next on the rail, Lucky Quality from What a Legend. Further back in the field is Maboob and Wind and Grass is back last of all as they top the rise. They're inside the 750, only eight from top end to tail. Flying Bonus trying to dominate from the front as Purton. Leads here on Harmony and Bless for Holly Doyle. And Grateful Heart, Ryan Moore secures the trail. Next on the outside is Storm Warnings. He's been wide throughout around Joe Marrera on cue the music at the 450. Beauty Spark, Meridian Genius. Winston's land, what a legend, lucky quality wind and grass, and Maboo blast homeward bound on the final leg of the IJC and it is uh, Harmony and Blessed who's moved up for Holly Doyle and taken the lead off flying bonus, then came on the inside, Grateful Heart finishing off, out wider, what a legend he's storming home, Harmony and Blessed Holly Doyle throwing everything at him over the final stages, he'll be two from two, Harmony and Blessed for Holly Doyle, wins the final race of the IJC from Grateful Heart, who stuck on particularly well over on the inside not sure third what a legend wind and grass were both arriving late down the outside at flying bonus cue the music winston's lad beauty spark lucky quality meridian genius maboob was well back and he was one of the last on crossing with storm warnings he's impressive isn't he harmony and legend and well done to holly doyle saluting in the final leg of the ijc grateful heart second for ryan moore not sure third, potentially could be wind and grass for a Tom Marquand there. Be nice for him to finish into the placings. But uh, she was throwing everything at uh, Harmony and Blessed here over the final stages. One like a really nice horse, 12-2, standing by for confirmation on third. What does Shutter Cam tell us uh, here as they've gone to the line with the ultra slow-mo? Mm, not sure we'll leave that one to the judge. It's been tricky to uh, decipher tonight, but 12-2 uh, from a photo. 19.26. Great moment here for Raholi Doyle saluting for David Hayes on Harmony and Blessed and the fourth and final leg of the Longines International Jockeys Championship. The IJC gates are back, they're underway. Wind and grass, what a legend, not the quickest away. Flying bonus and Grateful Heart nicely away. As two was Harmony and Bless running up to third on the outside. Cue the music, storm warning to trap deep like, like he was last time as they corner into the back. Beauty Spark, Winston's Lad, Meridian Genius. Next on the rail, Lucky Quality from What a Legend. Further back in the field is Maboob and Wind and Grass is back last of all as they top the rise. They're in Inside the 750, only eight from top end to tail. Flying bonus, trying to dominate from the front as Purton. Leads here on Harmony and Bless for Holly Doyle. And Grateful Heart, Ryan Moore secures the trail. Next on the outside is Storm Warnings. He's been wide throughout around Joe Marrera. On cue the music at the 450. Beauty Spark, Meridian Genius, Winston's Land. What a legend, lucky quality, wind and grass. And Maboo Blast, homeward bound on the final leg of the IJC. And it is Harmony and Bless who's moved up for Holly Doyle and taken the the lead off flying bonus then came on the inside grateful heart finishing off out wider what a legend he's storming home harmony and blessed holly doyle throwing everything at him over the final stages he'll be two from two harmony and blessed he scores the favorite wins it's a dead heat for third place dead heat between the four and the six wind and grass and flying bonus but it's all about the winner here with harmony and blessed yes he was favorite but he had the one starts Holly Doyle on board here for David Hayes. Three quarters by one and a quarter uh, mark in 109.26. He wins the final leg of the IJC. He does and remains unbeaten, Andrew. And uh, Zach Purton will get it confirmed shortly, but he's going to be the Longines IJC champion uh, for 2020. But this story around this young lady, Jenny, Holly Doyle, is there anything she can't do? What a year. Sunday time, Sportswoman of the Year, first night riding in Hong Kong, first European female to ride in this series and picks up a winner with her. Just her uh, first night of riding, I think a fifth ride in Hong Kong, and she's got Harmony and Blessed home and, and showed great vigour in the last little bit. Oh, did she ever. She was so strong in the finish and going past Ryan Moore there. What a thrill for the young lady. Congratulations to Holly. It's great to see her ride a winner here. And well done to David Hayes. He's got a lovely horse in Harmony and Blessed. Um, obviously, we'll hopefully hear from Holly very shortly uh, with Ed. I'm hoping that that will happen, but congratulations. It's just great to see a rider winner here. 
It is, absolutely. No, it won't talk to her as she makes her way back. She needs to get in and, and weigh in. But we will get uh, word from Holly very shortly. She's just explained to David Hayes about the the horse. Um, he's a lovely horse, Paul. Make two, no two ways about that. There's the dead heat then for for third place. And as Mark was saying, that third placing, even if Zach had run fourth, he'd still have won the IJC on count back. He wouldn't have got any points, but he picks up uh, points for running third, but uh, he'd have got it on count back because Joe didn't have a fourth placing. So Zach takes off the big prize, but uh, big thrill here. There's the full dividends coming through with Harmony and Blessed, um, just paying a little bit better than even money. And a 21 and 13 for the winner, Andrew. The two has run second, Grateful Heart, 15.50. The dead heaters, the third dead heat of the night, 38 and 12. <laughs> Numbers four and six. The judge will sleep well. The Quinella is $52. The Tears and the Trio is still to come as Holly's about to weigh in to make it all official. Grateful heart on the inside. A rising star and an IJC legend doing battle up the straight. Holly Doyle and Ryan Moore in the end. It's been the rising star who's seen it out. And uh, the winner, dead heating for third of the series this year. So we'll get uh, word from Holly in a moment. Uh, but, Paul, it was... Written in the stars almost. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it, to see and uh, one really nice. He's a two from two, a really nice horse there. Harmony and blessed and grateful heart. Look, he'd won his last two coming into it, so uh, he fought on really strongly as well. Uh, wind and grass came from the back and um, flying bonus from the front as well. So a uh, really good race. We've had some great races all, mm. all night, haven't we? Here's another good one here. Yeah, it's been very even racing, Jenny. The, these four legs, um, they've, they've played out perfectly in terms of the finishes. Mark was saying that's three dead heats we've had for a variety of places uh, this evening um, so that in itself is, has worked perfectly yeah for sure absolutely it's not often you see three dead heats in one particular race meeting mm. do you so uh, there's been a, a few blanket finishes as well um, but I thought that horse was uh, particularly impressive there. There was a, a lot of speed, and he stuck to his task really strongly in the end. And, uh, and the run of Grateful Heart was pretty good too with 129 pounds. Yeah, he got the perfect run, didn't he, up the inside. Um, to be honest, Mark, I was just focusing on Grateful Heart in the closing stages. What was going on behind? Were you, were you watching the, the run-ons at all? Yeah, Wind and Grass uh, did what he always does, Andrew, and um, what a legend put that dash in on the outside. It looked like there was a nose to maybe a short head at a stretch between uh, the dead heaters and what a legend. It's the most important short head at this stage of uh, Zach Purton's night because it's ensured that, well, he's run third. He was in that photo for third or fourth. What a legend not too far away. Ensure Zach's going to win the Long Jean IJC. He will indeed. Tony Millard is the leaning trainer. And uh, David Hayes has run second in actual fact. He had a second placing earlier on this evening and Harmony and Blessed there. So he's got 18 points. But Zach Purton with 20 points then will win tonight's uh, IJC. Joe Moreira's run second. And Alexi Bedell, by my calculations, finishes in, uh, in third place. So um, Zach Purton won this two years ago. I think this might be his third win in total now, uh, Jenny, in the uh, the IJC. And uh, the other difference this year is the, the draw mechanism as well, which was supposed to make it and has made it. I think that's proved um, proved perfectly this evening with the, the points being well shared and it going down right to the final leg of the night. Oh, absolutely.